and we're gonna do some basic bash stuff. Now, what is basic bash stuff? Because I'm kind of lying to you, it's not really basic. We're actually gonna do some advanced bash here. We are going to make an associative array. So we'll call it, um, it doesn't even matter what we call the variable here. Let's call it my array. Very simple. Now we can say my array, the key foo equals one. We can say my array, the key bar equals two. Very simple. Now let's print foo out of this. So if we get the foo key out of my array, this should just print the number one, right? Seems very simple. There's no trickery going on in this script. Let's go ahead and run our simple script. Um, here, I can leave the source code up in case people are curious what's inside it. We have the simple script there. Let's go ahead and run it and we get an error, right? You can see that it doesn't like the dash A option that we were giving declare. Declare doesn't seem to support a dash capital A and we're printing the number two here. All right, this is very weird. This is not what we expect. So what's going on here? Well, what version of bash is this running on? Because if I were to run bash and then give it the simple script, it works. So isn't that weird? We can call it directly, we can execute it directly, which will use the shebang of bin bash and it fails. But if we call bash here and execute it, it works exactly how expected. Why is that happening? Well, you might think, let's look at which bash, because this is going to figure out which bash in my path variable are we executing. As you can see right here, we're executing opt homebrew bin bash. If you're not familiar, the variable I'm interrogating is the dollar sign path variable. These are all the paths to look for executable programs when you run a command without an absolute path. That was a mouthful there, but when I run the command bash, it's gonna look through that path one by one because they are separated by colons. So I could echo dollar path, I could replace colons with new lines, and this will just make it easier to read. There you go, it will go in order and look for the bash command and execute the first one it sees. So when you do that, which bash, whoop, if I can type, which bash, it's going to execute opt homebrew bin bash, which is in stark contrast to the first line of our simple script, which was bin bash. So when we go ahead and we run it, let's do this. Let's open up our simple script and let's not even do this. Let's trash all this data. Let's just echo dollar zero and bash version. This will tell us what has been executed and what the version of bash running is. So if we rerun this, we can see that simple script ran and this was the uh, version it ran with. I'm just realizing now, I don't think I can do dollar zero. I think it's, what is, is it dollar bash? Let's do that, let's do dollar bash. There we go, that's what I wanted. So we have bin bash here and we have the version. As you can see, this is version 3.2. This is very old. This is what ships with the Mac. We're already on version five with bash, so that's why the array syntax notation wasn't working. We weren't able to declare associative arrays. Bash 3.2 doesn't have associative arrays. So